Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today's video is basically all about these, our chore sticks. Um, they're very, very useful to us and I've used them in our evening routine which I'll pop in the description box. Didn't go into too much detail there but I thought I would make a video in depth of all about them and basically the rules of them and what I do. Um, this is basically just an old kind of like juice bottle thing. Um, and I got all these lollipop sticks, which I got from the pound shop, so they're fairly cheap. And I basically write different chores on them. There is loads in here, and some of them are repetitive as well. Basically, they're not, obviously I've got two children, um, Ava who is four and Andrew is seven. So obviously the chores that they can do are at different levels. Um, so I wanted things in there that they can both do, but plus something that doesn't always feel like a chore. So you'll, th you'll see in there that there's things like hug mommy, kiss mommy, hug Ava, hug daddy, kiss daddy, read Ava a story, um, just little things like that. But then there's also things in there that are obviously more chore-like, which are like wipe down the kitchen services, clean the table, make the sofa, put the toys away, clean the garden loads of different things like that and what I did was because I didn't want to do something that the kids either didn't like doing or they just either couldn't do we sat down together and we wrote them so actually Andrew wrote some of his own which some of them was pretty strange and I says well if you want to do that then mate like one of them was like make mommy and daddy's bed and I was like well if you want to make my bed you can if you want I thought that's a bit of a cheeky one making him do obviously my bed when I should be making my bed but they wanted that one, so we've got mommy and daddy's bed in there, and then Andrew added one in about cleaning shoes. Um, so yeah, there's some random ones in there, but we've also had a play around with some, added some more, and removed the ones that we didn't need. Like I was noticing a lot of things to do with the clothes, like bringing all the dirty clothes down, that one was completely fine, but then folding the clothes, and then putting clothes away, when I'd already done that job that day, and then they they'd, then they would have it, it was just pointless. But we've always got dirty clothes in the wash like in the wash basket that they could bring down. I might not put in the wash that day, but at least they're there to put in the wash when that load's finished. So yeah, and I, we kind of removed them ones because it just didn't work. And added other ones and repeated other ones in there as well that we'll find that they needed doing around the house. But like things like easy enough for like recycling, they just take some cardboard boxes out and some cans out and put it in the bin for me or empty the bins obviously I wouldn't expect them to empty the big bins like the ones we have in the kitchen but the ones that are in my bathroom and their bathroom they're really tiny little bags and they could easily pull them out and put them in the bin just things like that so some things it helped me a lot as well because the little things that I kind of like missed doing and always forgot about is like the little bins upstairs until they got way too full and it just annoyed me and I had to empty them um, rather than just emptying them on a more of occasion. Having the chore sticks, it also reminded me of doing them as well. Um, so it was so much more helpful and it makes you realise as well that they didn't, I, I don't have to do as much around the house anymore that they can help me as well. So how it basically works and what I basically do with it was um, every day after school, as long as we come home straight from school, sometimes if we're doing, we're going out like it's someone's birthday so we're going to the house or we won't do them. Um, but when they get in from school, um, they have to pick two or three sticks. Now I say two or three is they have an option to swap one. So if they pick one out and then say they don't want it, I always tell them to pick two first and then if they don't want one of them, put one back in and pick another one out. But then it means they can't change it. So if they get one that they really don't like doing, but then swap it for another one and that one they don't like doing, they've got no choice. So they can swap one if they want. So I usually say pick three, put one back that you don't want to do. And basically, as soon as they've picked out the two or three chore sticks, they have to finish their chores. And then after that, that's when they're allowed to basically have free time. So it means that they can go on the Xbox, they can go on the PC, watch telly, iPad, things like that. Um, the only time that it differs is on a Friday when they have homework. Um, because basically they have to do their homework as well. And then they get free time. But that's because obviously they have the whole weekend. Usually at the weekend, it depends, like I said, if we're busy again. Um, if we've got pretty much the whole day out the house, I won't expect them to do it because obviously I won't even have time to do a lot of the things that I need to do. But if we're in all day, what we tend to do is around lunchtime, so they have their lunch, pick the sticks, then do it, and then get back to doing whatever they wanna do. They don't have to do it properly. 
um, they're learning the responsibility of looking after themselves and each other. So it's like Ava cleaning the shoes the first time we did it. I just gave her a baby wipe and she didn't properly clean them. She didn't like scrub them like I would. She just gave them a quick wipe over and I thought, well, it doesn't matter that she's not doing it properly because she's learning that she has to do it. Another thing as well, which people might not agree with, is I do not give them pocket money for their chores. Their reward, their reward for doing their chores is their free time to be able to play on the PC and Xbox and iPad and watch telly. It's very strange to explain, but I don't like giving money for doing things that they should already be doing, if that makes sense. Um, like the pocket money for the chores, like if they do a chore, um, they expect pocket money from it. Because I was, I was speaking to my sister-in-law about it and I was like, there's a fine line between if your child does all their chores um, and obviously they've earned that money so you have to give it them. Well, obviously if that child is really, really naughty, you can't take that money away. You're still kind of like giving them a reward. Um, so I don't like that factor either because in a, in a way you have to, whatever, it's the same with reward stickers. If they've earned that sticker, you have to give, them, give it them. You can't take it back because they've earned it. It's just the same as if you go to work and um, I don't know, the next day you're, you're poorly or something and they're going to say, oh, I'm not going to give you yesterday's pay either then because you didn't do such a good job because you weren't very well either. Something like that. But even though you've, you've earned it that day, doesn't mean you get taken off you the next because you've earned it. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to give pocket money or anything like that. We do give out pocket money, but in a different way. Um, they have reward charts and they have like 27 stickers on there and they get one sticker a day and that's if they complete the thing that need, they need to do a day. That's like Andrew's is not being angry, shouting, screaming, that type of thing. If he's calm and is, he can get angry, but not to where it's like, it, kind of gets out of control where it starts flinging things about, getting angry like verbally and physically. It can get angry where it's like, like that, that's fine with me. But it's when he expresses it a lot more, um, that's when he doesn't get a sticker. So if he's not been angry all day, he gets a sticker. And Ava is staying in her bedroom at night time. So instead of shouting me and making me take it to bed five times, <laughs> if she stays in bed and doesn't come downstairs or she doesn't shout me, that's when she gets a sticker. I do not include in the middle of the night. If she wakes up in the middle of the night because I don't know if she's had a nightmare or something's bothering her, I still give her a sticker. It's the settling in part. So yeah, going off the subject. But I basically reward them after they get all the 27 whatever stickers, that's when they have money to then spend on whatever they want to spend. Um, but when it comes to the chores, like I said, I don't give out pocket money for them because when you have your own house, you don't get paid to look after it. You want to look after it because you've got the respect for it. So it's kind of like the same thing with them. I want them to realize that this is their house. They've got to respect it, but they've also got to clean it as well and look after it as well as obviously the things that they mess up. <laughs> Any mess that they make, they've got to be responsible for it. So yeah, my whole reason of doing the chore six is just getting the responsibility for them. What I'm gonna do as well is I'm just gonna go over a few of the sticks that I've got. Well, if I can do all of them, I will do. There's things like put the toys away, wipe the kitchen cupboards, which they love doing that one, clear the outside toys, wipe all the handles. This is one I'd always forget. Um, I'm not kind of like a germ, like phobia person, um, but the only thing that makes me kind of like sick is door handles. It's one of those that people don't kind of, it's, you know germs on hands? That kind of freaks me out. Like when I see a person not wash their hands after going to the toilet, I'm like, you've then touched that handle to leave the toilet, which I'm then gonna touch to leave the toilet. And I'm like, ugh. So door handles for me is the biggest one. Because if they sneeze, it's on the door handle. If they cough, is then on the door handle. If they didn't wash their hands, it's then on the door handle. So door handles do have a lot, a lot of germs and I do not like it. So wipe all handles. Yeah. <laughs> Another one that they had as well is, they can be a pain at flushing the toilet. They don't always flush the toilet. So one of them in here is flush all the toilets in the house because we have three. Um, empty bins, take recycling out fill up the toilet paper. Now, like I said, we have three toilets in the house and it can get a bit crazy with toilet paper. Like you go to the one toilet, it's got no toilet paper. So then you go upstairs to a toilet, that one has toilet paper, but then you forget to bring it back downstairs to put it in the other toilet. And yeah, we're always running out of toilet paper. And there's so many times when like 
the daddy's on the toilet and is like, Andrew, could you go get me some toilet paper? Or I'm like, Andrew, you're gonna have to get some toilet paper. Um, yeah, I'm always forgetting to bring it down. When I do bring it down, I mean, upstairs is fine, because it's literally, we have a big tub in the big family bathroom. And um, it's easy enough just to take into like our own suite, but downstairs, it's a bit of a pain sometimes. Um, so fill up the toilet paper, just I say to him get three rolls for each bathroom, so get all nine rolls and just basically fill them up. But for the upstairs one, I suppose you don't need to do that because they're already in that bathroom. Make M and D's bed, which just means mommy and daddy's bed. Obviously, <laughs> you can tell by that one. Andrew wrote it. Pair socks. I hate doing this, but when I have done it, the kids love helping me. So I thought pair socks are probably one of them. We have a box on top of the fridge, well, fridge and freezer. Um, with odd socks in and every time I've got an odd sock I throw it in there and then when it gets full I just tip it all out of the living room and prepare the socks. So yeah, pair the socks. Tidy room. Some of these are repetitive as well. Put the bath toys away. This is the one I absolutely hated. Because there's always bath toys, I just leave them in the bath when I pull the plug and then they'll be there in there next time I did the bath and it was just a pain. So clean up the bath toys where They've just basically put them in the little thing that I have in the corner. Full of bath toys and do it for me, which is great. Clean shoes. That's the one Andrew did. Dust the living room. They love the little duster. Make bed. Hug mummy. Hoover. They love Hoover. I do actually want to get the Dyson Hoover, you know, the little one that you can get for kids. I want to do that one. Dirty clothes down. We're bringing all the dirty clothes down. Hug Ava or Andrew, depending obviously who gets it. Clean their bedroom, work kitchen sides, that one's repetitive again, tidy up toys, which obviously we've already had, clean and make sofa, there's so many times where all the pillars and blankets are all off the sofa, so make the sofa is one that they tend to get a lot. Kiss daddy, read Ava a story, obviously if Ava gets that one, she can just pick another one, because she can't, obviously can't read. Um, tidy backyard. Spray the rooms, with that I meant like um, air freshener, so they can go around spraying them with air freshener. Kiss mummy, clean the doors, because they get fingerprints all over them, and that is one thing I don't like. There's something about doors that I'm OCD about. I don't like fingerprints being all around the doors and the door handles being covered in germs. The doors, yeah, a bit OCD with the doors. Wipe the table. We don't have a table, we only have a kids table, so that means wipe their little table and stuff down. Make your bed, Hoover, which we've had that one again, flush your toilets, and hug daddy. So just little things like that in here. You can Google or look on Pinterest for um, certain things that your child can do. Obviously I wanted something that a four and a seven year old could both do, or if Ava couldn't do it, then I could help with it. You know, like cleaning the cupboards and stuff like that. Obviously I could spray the stuff on it and she could just wipe it. But with Andrew, I can give him the whole like spray and the wipe and you can just sit there doing all of it. Um, so Ava does need some help on some of them. But you can look on Pinterest or Google and it will show you a list of what is appropriate for your child's age, especially like if you've got, you could make two two of them, one for younger and one for older, or you could do um, like certain colors. You could tell one child they can only have red ones and other that they can only have the yellow ones. Um, just kind of color coordinate if they're obviously, you've got a massive gap in age. Um, but yeah, I've really, really enjoyed having these and the kids love them as well. They're more excited to pull one out and I'm like, let's get a chore stick. They're really excited to pick one until they have that one that they're not really excited about. Like, I don't know. But which ones does Andrew not like doing? I don't think Andrew likes tidying his bedroom. So when he picks like tidy his bedroom, I was like, oh. And now I even start doing that as well. It's so funny. So yeah, I thought I'd um, share it with you guys of how we use them, which ones we've got in there, and yeah, I would highly recommend them. My kids absolutely love doing them. So that's the end of the video. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Um, like I said, I'm a mum of two to Andrew and Ava. I upload a ton of videos about different things, things like fashion, beauty, lifestyle, motherhood, hauls, cleaning, tips on motherhood, stuff like that basically. So if it's something you're interested in watching, don't forget to subscribe, but I hope you have an amazing rest of the day and I will see you soon. Bye!